Welcome to the Hashpod tutorial section, where today we'll be briefly demonstrating on how to connect the wallets. At the end of the section, you should be able to know how to pair your EVM and Hedera based accounts to the portal. Hashpod is an interoperability layer designed to enable the secure, fast, and efficient transfer of value between DLT networks. So let's get started. Before getting into the app, please follow the best practices and take a moment to ensure you have your origin and destination wallets configured appropriately with your seed phrases secure. Clicking on the launch app will take you to the homepage of Hashpot app itself. If you do not currently have a MetaMask wallet installed, you'll be prompted to install and configure one with the accounts you intend to use. For more details on how to create a MetaMask account, please refer to the links in the description box below. In this case, I've already established my MetaMask account. So as a start, you will need to connect to your MetaMask wallet and connect to your Hedera account. Click on connect accounts to begin pairing your EVM and Hedera based accounts to the portal. First, click on the MetaMask icon to load your EVM based wallet. You'll be prompted to enter your password. Successful connections will show a green dot beside the MetaMask logo. And after a successful connection of the MetaMask, a button to connect a Hedera account will appear on the main page. Click to begin the Hedera account pairing process. You'll be prompted to import an existing account or create a new one. On details on how to create a new Hedera account, please refer to the links in the description box below. If importing an account, you will be given three options to do so. Choose your desired method. In this case, I've selected private key. Paste the key here and click on load wallet. Please note that none of the data provided during this step will be stored on Hashport. Successful loading of your Hedera account will result in the accounts public key and account ID being populated. If these views are not populated, your account has not yet been paired with an account ID. You will need to follow the steps in order to complete this step first or create a new account. If they have, click on continue. And once both the origin and destination wallets are loaded, you'll be able to find its balance appear right beside the wallet itself. I hope you find this tutorial useful and hope to see you again.